Hello everybody, welcome to Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth Part 4. I'm your host, the one only Dig. Now before we begin with the video, I do have to tell you guys a few things. I had originally recorded this Part 4, like, a few days ago, but I'm for, um... My, one of my subscribers, who coincidentally is my first subscriber, alerted me to the fact that it had the echo effect. It was very, very, very pervasive. I looked at it while I was on YouTube, and it was just completely unwatchable with the echoes. So I deleted that video off of YouTube, I started a fresh new file, I grinded it back to the point where I was in the originally, and here we are again. Unfortunately, I did forget that we did not pick up the first of the Avatar pieces in my last part. So yeah, I picked that up and saved over that, so we're not going to see that tutorial piece, but that's really not that important to the plot, guys. Just so you know. Okay. So anyway, here we are. We're gonna start again with a new safe. Raven King is correct. Try saying that ten times. Yeah, thanks. Um, Pokemon. Anyway, so here we are again. My team is a little different than it was before, but you guys never saw that part anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So here we are again. I spent like two hours grinding to get back to this point, but again, I'll do it for any, pretty much anything for you guys, for your enjoyment, as far as I'm concerned. And here we are again, and I will check this before we save to make sure there's no echo effect, guys. I promise you that. So here's the second Avatar piece. Yeah, this pretty much is a... These four Avatar pieces in this dungeon, guys, are tutorial fights to get you acquainted with what the fights do. And all the effects and whatnot. I'll go into... I won't read the word for word, because um, I'm very familiar with it, but anyway... You want to target targets that have the red affinity and not the blue. Blue means that it's bad affinity, red means it's good affinity. And this is the rock, paper, scissors damage thing. What, virus, vaccine, and data work, work exactly like rock, paper, scissors, whereas the free thing that Vimon is, that has just nothing, it's just neutral. So one will always be vulnerable to another while, the art, while at the same time being effective against the other. As you can see by the diagram with the rock, paper, scissors diagram. Okay. If you attack with a good affinity, you have put twice as much damage. If you type of a, attack with a bad affinity, you only do half damage. And if it's the same affinity, then you just do equal damage. And free has nothing to effect on it. And you can also inflict an extra 1.5 damage with a type skill, but... To be honest, guys, the Rock, Paper, Scissors method is much more effective than the Attribute method. So keep that in mind if you're going to place for yourself. So anyway... We do not have a Dio type, so Vimon can attack the vaccine type. Because Dio types are good against vaccine types, and Vimon's gone. Now Salomon here can attack the virus type, because as you see it's red, that means she's going to do twice as much damage attacking the virus type. Whereas if she attacked the Dio type, she's going to do half damage. See, twice as much damage, very nice. And the Gurumon can attack Gatsumon, and he's going to do twice as much damage. Although it's not very good. Because uh, the Gurumon needs to level up. Maybe I can pick up the slack though. That's yeah, the second Avatar piece, guys. Two more inside this dungeon. We're gonna find them right now. And that's for that guy standing in front of the firewall. You can't talk. You can talk to him, but he won't let you pass until later. That's a barrier in place to keep you from going to areas that are story-driven, that you can, that would spoil the story. So yeah, you can't access those areas as long as there's a person standing in front of them. And we see Kowloon. Here's the third Avatar piece. And here we go into status effects. In this case, it's poison. Yep, so there's a whole bunch of different status effects, guys, and the, keep in mind that the, unlike in our games, they're all undone at the end of the battle. So if you're poisoned at this point, as long as you make it through the battle is still conscious, the poison will be gone by the time the fight's over. And as you can see, there's a whole bunch of different statuses, confused, paralyzed, sleep, stun, poison, dot, and bug. We'll get more to those as they happen. There's also stat effects, which increase your abilities, and also stat effects that lower opponent's abilities, too. Anyway, this um, Pabamon should be a push up. And we got a chain attack, so that could. Bop, bop, dun, 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 dun. 
I'll get more into the cross combo system in the final avatar piece, which is in the final area of the dungeon. So yeah, even though this is not blind, guys, I'd still be very informative in case you want to play this for yourself. Of course, then you're spoiling your, your journey with the plot details, but... Yeah, there's no, there's no win-win situation, is there? <laughs> anyway, this is where we first logged out. With the technical monster grabbed us. Two chests to grab here. And there's the final avatar piece. And this introduces the cross combo system, which we just saw in the last fight. So basically, cross combo is when your uh, Digimon and your party like, combine their efforts. They either increase the number of hits, decrease the number of damage, increase the number of heal, or increase the number of skill. And the more friendly, the more like friendly they are with you, the better their combo rate will be. Okay, Vimon, you can attack Sunamon. Ah, damn, I'll probably take him out. Okay. Whatever. Let's just take him out for sure. Miss! Salomon! Come on, Salomon, you're better than that. Okay, you can take out Poyomon. That works. Vimon just punched Sunamon again. <laughs> Beautiful. Also, guys, in case you are unaware of this series, this is going to be a very, very, very long series. Also, considering I'm playing on hard mode, it's probably going to be at least 50, anywhere from 50 to 125 parts, depending on how well I do and how long it takes. So just bear that in mind, it's going to be a very ass-long series. But I'm willing to do it for you guys. Plus, I love this game so much, that it's not that big a deal. And we got the avatar pieces, we're looking back to normal. Hmm, you at least look normal again. It's not a perfect solution, but it's a big step. The objective has been met. Come back to the agency. Uh-oh, Aaron looks confused, or is confused. <laughs> What's that? You don't know how to get back. Hmm, try walking out like you always do. Since you went in through an agency terminal, my guess is that you should come out through one. But to be honest, in your case, I don't know what'll happen until we try. In the worst case, if your data gets scattered throughout the network, I'll salvage as much as I can. Hee <laughs> hee, I'm joking. Sort of. Thanks, Kyoko, you're the best. Okay, so we got the Avatar data. We're not fully repaired, but we at least look normal again. Which is a step, like Kyoko said. Also, we cannot use that logout terminal back in the exit because it's still damaged. Whatever Arta did to get it to work was only temporary, so we gotta go all the way back to the entrance of this dungeon. It's not that big a deal, because this is a very small dungeon. It's a star dungeon, for that matter. So, we can just breeze right through it. I mean, yes, it also helps to familiarize yourself with the game mechanics if you are a fan of Digimon, which I assume you're not. Simply because Digimon is not very popular. I mean, though, I, mean I have a long backstory with it. I love the series. I love the anime. I love the games. But that's just me. I, I imagine the average person is not familiar with, this with the franchise, as far as I'm concerned. So anyway, let's get it. Log out. But whether you like Digimon or not, I really hope you'll join me on this adventure. Because it's a very fun game, it's very informative, very plot-driven. And it's just... I just can't, get, I can't praise the game enough. Here we are, back in Kyoko's office. <laughs> Uh, gee, thanks for your... What's the word I'm looking for? Um, positive attitude. I mean, optimistic attitude. That's what I was looking for. Damn it. I gotta remember the fake bear words up on the fly. What do you mean by that? Physical fear? Whatever. <laughs> Oh, sure, she is subject, why don't you, Kyoko? Oh, grim voice. Who could this be? Oh, what a surprise, it's a grim man. <laughs> a grim old man, for that matter. Even, it's even calling him grim man. Okay, you're not Spears. You do not get to say, I did it again. You're not Spears. And you never will be. Okay, so these two obviously know each other. 
Right, as far as naming goes in Japan, I'm not sure how it goes, like, with San and Chan and um, whatever the, our surnames are, so I don't know how they work, guys, so don't ask me what they mean. And Kun is another thing. K-U-N is another surname that they use. Kun, San, Chan... I don't know what they mean. I should probably put that up. <clears throat> uh, nothing wrong per se, grim old man. Yes and no. Hmm. Who am I? I'm an assistant detective, that's a secret. Well, let's uh, be a... Uh, let's be a pain in the ass to him. That's a secret. Fist pump. <laughs> oh, he's not happy with me. Yeah, I'm not gonna say I'm assistant detective because we haven't actually entered that role yet. Okay, you're a real detective or like a private detective? Well, that sells it. He's an actual cyber detective, cyber crime detective with the police force. Okay, gotcha. No, you don't fit the mold at all, to be honest. Oh, so you go undercover. That's good to know. <laughs> and I just blew your cover. <laughs> you're, a CIA, you're a CIA agent, you'd be fired immediately. Okay, so he's obviously afraid of her coffee for some reason. Oh, the music stopped. Syndrome, that's new. Okay, so are we taking a seat then? <laughs> that confirms it. Okay. Hmm? Stop giving me the stink eye, Matayoshi. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like you either. Up, oh, Aaron's not getting the message. Aaron is not getting the message. Well, that's one way of putting it, Kyoko. Sore ni. Especially it's really the same in English and Japanese, I guess so. Oh, so you have to ask the question. Well, she did pluck me off the street, so whatever. Well, it's never a good sign when the sinister music starts playing, guys. It's never a good sign. And this is the first I'm hearing of Eden Syndrome. Can you elaborate, Matayoshi? Yeah, please do. I was just guessing she would say that. I did not think she would say that. That does not sound good at all. But okay, so they go into Eden and they fall into coma? Is that what you're telling me? Right, how's that going? Right, how's that going? Yep. 
all about big business in the moolah, right, man? The ocean. <coughs> No, that sounds like a huge conspiracy. I'm starting to believe it's a conspiracy. Well, of course, they run Eden and people are falling unconscious while in Eden. They're going to want to cover that up, of course. Well, that's really sucking. That's a huge conflict of interest, by the way. Yeah, shame on them for prioritizing their money over people's lives. Come on. Yep. It's like that Deadly Phantom episode. I remember that. 100%。ようやくですね。ああ、やっとだ。やはりコーヒーを入れてきますよ。景気よく乾杯と行きましょう。What's <笑> success? He just told us a story. It's no success.おっと、そろそろ書に戻らないと。Oh, he's off. Off now. 乾杯はまたの機会にしよう。じゃあ、またな。Okay, you gotta tell me what's up with her coffee before you run out the door. Okay, he's telling me something. <laughs> that sounds the opposite of lovely. Okay, so she abducts people off the street and she makes terrible coffee. Good to know. With weird colors and chunks in it. Oh boy. Let's hope we never have to taste it. Okay, so now we got the Eden's Army information. We got the information that we need to get out of the way. Okay, so what do you suggest, Kyoko? And then, we're going to be more difficult to get out of the way. That I agree with you on. You have to be aware of the Eden. 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 Yep, it's not coincidence. I just said it wasn't a coincidence. Oh, glad you see you cut to my side. Okay, so let's wish you the best of luck. Oh, thanks for the invite. Don't look so surprised, Aaron. Seek and you shall find, knock and it shall be be what? Oh great, I'm never gonna know the end of that saying. Thanks a lot, Kyoko. Well, this definitely looks like a hospital. Well, what to do? At times like these, I tend to start off with a frontal attack. What do you mean by that? Let's try direct negotiations to get us into the hospital special ward. Mm, what else can I do? I'll give you instructions later. Until then, gather info inside the hospital. Aaron, you look confused again. What's, what's going on? Asking questions is the most fundamental cornerstone in detective work. I wasn't joking when I said you could become a specialist in the field, my dear prospective assistant. Yeah, that was a mouthful. Become a GP. I have no idea what a GP is, or what that stands for. And record my activities in the chart, or become a boy with shining red cheeks. I don't know what that's a reference to, either. The only thing I figured was Pinocchio, but that doesn't make sense here. It's really a lot of fun. Hee <laughs> hee. If someone could fill me in those two references, I'd be thrilled. <laughs> I still, to this day, I still don't know what they mean. Oh, anime style cutscene. And that's the extra music playing again, which I don't appreciate. Oh, great, we got a creeper in the lobby. Oh, 
Oh, she gave me the death stare. Three dots, three dots. Series of dots. Yep, Aaron, say something. Shy girl, okay, that fits your persona perfectly, shy girl. Okay, now Aaron looks more confident. Hello, well, what are you looking at? What's for it? Hey girl, have we met? Shy girl is not impressed. Yep, Aaron, you made yourself look like a do doofus. She actually has the digivice around her left wrist, I just noticed. Okay. Hey, I have mine in my hair. You can have yours on your wrist if it makes you feel better. Probably weighs a lot, though. Okay, two messages. Corbin on the front. Alright, guys, so I gotta do some micromanaging here. Like I said in my previous parts, I gotta try to keep it to a minimum as much as I can. Sometimes it will be on camera. Let's see if we could digivolve. Hormon was at max level. Yeah, it become a Gilmon. He was always used virus types. Gilmon, there we go. What am I putting on max level 2? Do I have a Gobblemon yet? Yeah, I have a Gobblemon, so. Ew. I guess become a Nearomon. Second Nearomon. You become Dilmon, some turn. Okay. And Bolamon. I guess another Wanyamon. You have two Cormons already. Okay. Toko. You can still grow a bit. For you. I guess you're becoming Yokomon. Luckmon, Wormmon, Beomon, okay. As far as Tanamon goes, you can't become anything yet. Hagurumon, nothing yet. You want nothing yet, Salmon, nothing. Okay. Feeding your Digimon on the farm, by the way, increases their friendship, so always remember to do that. Your regular Digimon stocks regularly. Why'd I say that? Stocks up regularly, and you could have up to 20 pieces at any given time. So here we go, special ward. <clears throat> yeah. I gotta remember to speak more intellectually when I do these things, especially the RPGs. Anyone without permission is prohibited from entering this area. In other words, get out. Rufus Security Guard. <laughs> you sure fit the persona as just like Shy Girl. It's me. And their thing, guys, I don't know why she does this. It's a very awkward pose. I, I think it just does not fit her personality. We can ride the elevator to the special ward floor, but can't enter the rooms without permission. It goes without saying that we have no such permission. What do we do now? We take out the two guards and hack our way past the door, which is likely locked, to get into the room. Kyoko, we're not Agent 47. We're not going to kill these people. This is what I call a frontal attack, but it takes time to prepare and the rest are high. No shit. Let's not rely on a frontal attack now. We'll trust in your abilities, our trump card. The terminal and the nurse's station should be connected to the hospital network. I don't have to spell it out all, to spell it all out for you, do I? Yeah. This is a special ward. Unless your family or hospital staff, entry is strictly prohibited. Okay, he's serious. You're ruthless, and you're serious. Good combination. And then, my guys, this nurse's station is on the general ward. And like with the TV, we could go digital into the network. Before we do that, though, there's a side room we can enter over here that has a metal in it. It was a Kunamon medal? I was right. <laughs> as far as talking to random NPCs on the map, guys, like this person, I don't think I'm going to be doing that unless they're relevant to the story, guys, because it just takes up too much time. I mean, this is there just for generic purposes, to give yourself some more insight to what's going on, but it's not really necessary when you think about it. What time are we at? Almost time to stop, okay. Let's we'll just get through this network real quick. 
and get attacked the second round. And as for random encounters also, I'm going to try to limit those on camera as well, because they're kind of boring to watch. I should know, I've seen people stream this game where they just go through, I spend like two hours on the screen just grinding. That's boring as hell, guys. It really is. If you want to make your viewers happy, you don't grind like him. Especially in RPGs. It's always time for grinding off-camera when you think about it. Okay, here's the exit. Log out, yes. <clears throat> you managed to get there without incident. Hee <laughs> hee, just as I expected it would go. Okay, let's move into action. Get the data from the room in the back while keeping an eye on the patient. I mean the patient. Who's the patient? I don't know what you mean by patient, but isn't that a crime? That's for the authorities to decide, not us. If it's against the law, then the law will try us. You mean me. I'm the one trespassing, Kyoko. You're still in the lobby, so don't try to share the, do the share game unless you're getting involved. But until then, we're in a bit of a gray area. Detectives generally operate unchallenged when it comes to this sort of thing. Thanks. Oh, yeah. No way! Is this me? Is this my physical body? Yeah, so when the technical grabbed us and we, as we were logging out, it separated us from like our physical form to a cyber entity. That was shocking, but... I wasn't expecting to see that my own body was in such good shape. I should be happy, I suppose. If I'm being kept in an isolation ward, then I really must have Ian Syndrome. Yep. And there's... You gotta figure out a cure for this pronto. That'd be very freaky to see yourself in bed while you're walking about, by the way. Very freaky. Also... Mm. <clears throat> Guys, I don't think we have time to do the next part, because it's gonna take a few more minutes. I don't want this to drag itself out, so I'm just gonna leave the part 4 here. I know we haven't had 30 minutes yet, but it'll probably be like 35 by the time we're done with the next cutscene. So let's just stop here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. And yes, I will check this to make sure there's no echo fest so we do not have to do this over. So take care.